guys, today we're going to be toning this one ounce silver round, three nines fine silver. It's the Standing Liberty quarter design. And as most of you guys know, this is my logo, so I thought it'd be really cool to try to artificially tone it or antique it, whatever you want to call it. And I did a video on this before with silver and copper, but I used hard boiled eggs. Now this time, I'm going to be trying liver of sulfur. All right, guys, well, liver of sulfur pretty much does the same exact thing. Basically, what we're going to be doing here and what you're going to need, I have a stopwatch here. You don't necessarily need a stopwatch, but I'm going to be using it just to see how long this is going to take to get to the color I want to. But basically, I'm going to be taking this liver of sulfur gel. I'm going to be putting just a little bit in this container right here that's got hot water. I'm going to be stirring it up. I got a stir. I'm going to be using this straw. I'm going to be cutting it in half because not only am I going to be stirring that with the liver of sulfur in it, but I got this other bowl sitting here that I'm going to be putting water in it and I'm gonna be adding this baking soda. Now what that's gonna do is after I get the color that I want, I'm gonna be throwing it into the baking soda water solution, which is supposed to stop the process. So the items that I'm gonna be using in today's experiment is a stopwatch, a stirrer, obviously you're gonna need your silver. I'm using liver of sulfur to do my toning or antiquing. You're also gonna need baking soda, hot water, and two containers because like I said this is going to have one solution in it the liver of sulfur in the water and then we have this other one here that's going to have water and baking soda so it is really important that you use hot water and I did it hot enough to where it kind of does burn when you touch it so here we go guys you're also going to need disposable gloves you don't want to forget that that's going to protect your hands and all that because you really don't want to be messing with this liver of sulfur stuff so Usually you'd use a pair of pliers or something to grab the piece out, but since I don't really want to scratch it up or anything after I get it the way I want it, I'm going to be using my hands in there, so I'm going to definitely be wearing gloves. So let me get these gloves on, and then I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to prep the silver before I start toning it. All right, guys, well, as you can see, I cut the straw in half so I could have two different stirs because I don't want to mix the liver of sulfur into the solution that's going to stop the reaction. So I went ahead and just cut a regular old straw in half works really good but basically what I'm going to do to prep the silver and the reason I'm going to prep it is because this has been handled by people I got it at my LCS it was just in a random tube that he had of random one ounce round so I'm going to try to get any contaminants off of it that I can so I'm going to be using a cotton ball and a little bit of alcohol and it's going to dry up really fast because you guys know alcohol dries really fast so I'm going to be prepping it that way I'm going to put a little alcohol on the swab here clean up both sides let it dry up a little bit and then I'll get back with you guys all right everyone so I cleaned off the silver round as best I could so now is our time to add the liver of sulfur into the hot water so you don't need very much like I said so we'll just put let's just say that much right there so not much let's stir it up and it smells exactly like you guys think it does. It smells like eggs. So we're gonna be going for not a very dark tone here. I kind of want to get a rainbowy, maybe some blues and stuff like that. So got it mixed up in there. Wow, that stinks. All right, so as soon as I set it in there, guys, I'm gonna start that stopwatch and we're gonna see how long this process actually takes. There's one last look at it before it goes in the liver of sulfur, so. Here goes nothing, guys. See, I can already see it changing. It's getting kind of like a darkish brownish color right now. So we'll take it out here in a second and check it out because um, the water color can play tricks on you. You want to take it out and take a look at it you can always stick it back in but like I said guys if you are going to try this do it on a generic silver round I'm pretty sure it even works on copper rounds I know the egg um hard boiled egg trick does but I haven't necessarily tried liver of sulfur on copper yet but I plan on doing that as well so as you guys can see it's been about 45 seconds and 
we've already gotten a lot of reaction out of that so I'll let it sit a minute there I might even flip it over here in a second but it's looking pretty cool already like I said guys don't mess with this with your bare hands I got gloves on so let's check it out really quick so really cool already we're getting some golds really hard to get toning to show up on video as you guys know but looking pretty cool so let's stick it back in there a little longer what's the other side other sides getting some too all right let's go a little longer it's been about a minute and a half so not bad i think the eggs took me a lot longer so this definitely speeds up the process you guys saw how much liver of sulfur we used and i still have plenty in here so while that's doing its thing i'm going to take my empty container here I'm going to add some water into it and add the baking soda so we have that ready for when we get the color we want. So just regular old water and a little bit of baking soda and stir that up. And that's supposed to stop the reaction so it doesn't keep toning it darker and darker. So let's get that stirred up and let's check it out. It's been about 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Wow, you can really see some purples in there now. That's looking pretty cool down there. Awesome. I really like that. Let's see what else we can do with it. Maybe we should flip it over for a little bit and get this side going. But that is looking really cool already. So, awesome guys. It's been about... Two minutes and 40 seconds we're just going to keep going with this no editing we're just going to let the stopwatch keep going i have a feeling this is going to take less than five minutes because it's looking pretty cool already but we'll get this other side going stir up this thing keep that all mixed up good yeah definitely let me know what you guys think have you guys ever tried this are you thinking about trying it did you guys see my toning silver and copper with eggs i'll put those videos right up here in the corner with a little card if you guys want to check those out but i think right here at three and a half minutes we'll bring it out and check it out one more time um let's see here 10 seconds or so we'll get this ready over here but there was some really cool rainbows going on on that um logo side or the obverse or the reverse i guess it is i don't know why i like that side so much better on the standing liberty but let's check it out really cool let's get it to focus there that's awesome let's check that side out really cool colors check that out guys wow i really actually like that let's do it just for a tad longer we'll go till we'll go till three min or four minutes and 45 seconds and we'll stop it i'm gonna leave it on that side too um, hopefully it's not too long. We'll get this baking soda stirred up. So it looks like it's going to take about only a couple minutes to really um, get some good color on it, depending on what you're going for. I've seen some people go all the way dark, and then, um, you know, they polish it out. It looks really cool like that. But let's see. Let's check it out. It's been four and a half minutes, and that looks awesome. What do you guys think? Very cool. Got purples and blues. Gold color in there. Got some red down there by the date. That looks really super cool. So let me get this all dried up and everything. We'll stop the watch. We'll say it was uh, four and a half minutes. And then we'll check it out all cleaned up. All right, everyone. So right now I have it in the baking soda water solution. It's supposed to stop the process. We'll let it sit in there a minute and uh, do its thing so that way it stays the way that we want it but that was pretty cool only took about four and a half minutes I know that the um, hard-boiled eggs took me about 25 minutes to get that round looking the way it was but let's check it out I think that should have been in there long enough so really cool colors awesome I really do like that depending on how you move it looks really awesome so there it is guys now I'm gonna get it dried off 
after I did the baking soda thing. You don't want to forget about that step, but let's uh, get it dried up and check it out. All right, guys, so here it is all finished up. I think it looks awesome. Look at those colors. Really cool looking round. And like I said, I am going to put this in a capsule. I'm going to keep it for myself. Kind of a sentimental piece because that is my logo, but that side turned out really cool as well. Look at the detail. Let's get some light on that. Yeah, depending on where you hold it, get different colors. It looks really cool, guys. Awesome. So let me know what you guys think. I'm happy with it. Let me get the capsule out. We'll put it in there, and then we'll finish up the video. All right, everyone, so here it is in the capsule. The capsule is not a brand new capsule, so it does have some scratches on it. I'll probably get a different one, um, but it does look pretty awesome. Love those colors. Got some blues, reds, purples, greens, pretty much every color, exactly what I was going for. Let me get that glare off there. But really cool. Love the red down there by the date as well. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments about how this worked out. I really like this liver of sulfur stuff besides the smell, obviously, but I got to get this whole uh, room cleaned up. I got to get this egg smell out of here, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like always, I really appreciate you stopping by, watching another video. If this was your first video and you like what you saw, think about hitting the subscribe button. Uh, please hit the like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And like always, see you guys on the next one.